I'm Rick Bowler, president North of a Tesla Owners Club of North Texas. Take that for what it's worth. We have about 800 members, Tesla owners and Tesla reservation holders uh, here in North Texas. And I'm really happy to welcome you to our brand new South Lake Supercharger. <laughs> I have some things to tell you about the supercharging network, which South Lake City Council will know well because they've heard me do it several times. But maybe this will be new for you. The uh, Tesla supercharging network is what differentiates Teslas from all other electric cars. It allows travel all around the country with few stops every few hours. So you don't have a car which is just you have to look at that. So you don't have a car which is just stuck in town. A lot of us have had car Teslas for a long time. Some of us got our own Model S's in 2012. We were here. But the interesting thing in North Texas was that we were promised a supercharger in Northeast Tarrant County. Great body, actually. In late 2013. Let me tell you what the situation was in 2013. I'm going to read the data, which comes from North Central Texas Council of Governments. Thanks, Bailey. In October 2013, there were 226 Teslas in North Texas. There were five superchargers in Texas. In fact, I went to San Marcos for the first time ever because there was a supercharger there. Some of, some of the others of you may have also done the same thing. There were 34 superchargers in the world in late 2013. But fast forward to today, May 2018, there are now 2,271 Teslas in North Texas. It's about half of all the electric vehicles in North Texas. There are 39 superchargers in Texas. There are 511 stations in the United States, and there are 1,245 in the world. That's 9,623 supercharger stalls, in addition to the 10 that we have here in South Lake. Tesla own, opens a supercharger almost every business day somewhere around the world. So this is less and less of a big thing for them. I can tell you, though, that any supercharger that opens in North Texas is a big thing for us. Right? So, South Lake supercharger is the first fast cross-country supercharger to open since Italy in September of 2017. These are the superchargers that allow cross-country travel at the fastest charging rates. Later today we're going to go to Plano and Dallas, and those are urban superchargers which have a different purpose. We're going to talk about the purpose that they serve a little bit later. But South Lake is, is really special for us for a number of reasons. One, it is the shortest route between Florida and Northern California. <laughs> so even if you're just passing through, you'll come to South Lake. Maybe you'll stay at the Hilton, go to Del Frisco's or True Fire or Pure or Unleavened Bread, and continue on your way. Who knows what the next supercharger stop would be for most of us? It would be Childress. Childress is Packensack. So a little bit of a downgrade from what we have here. <laughs> and another thing which is really important is really the amenities that we have here in South Lake and all the superchargers that we're going to see in the future as opposed to what you've seen. And I, I mapped out a trip um, just for my own reference. And if you were coming from Baton Rouge to come up here, your supercharging stations would be at a Holiday Inn in Alexandria, a sketchy mall in Shreveport. <laughs> it does have a Piccadilly though, so I, you know, so we get we get used to the amenities that we have that are they're local, right? In Lindale, it's a Collins Street Bakery. I love my fruitcake, but um, superchargers at almost every Collins Street Bakery in Texas. So alternatives to CSB are, are high on my list. Your next stop after Lindale is South Lake, which I think is quite an upgrade. Then you have Childress, like I've mentioned. After that is a Holiday Inn in Amarillo, a Holiday Inn Express in Tucumcari, and a truck stop in Santa Rosa. So no offense to any of those locations and all the amenities that they have to offer, 
but it's not that much. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you a little bit more about South Lake, because I know some of you from counties east of here don't make it to Tarrant County, at least this northeast portion of it as often as we'd like you to. But South Lake has the highest density of electric cars in North Texas. We share that actually with places like Highland Park and uh, parts of Plano. Um, South Lake is recognized by uh, North Central Texas Council of Governments for having an outstanding uh, cleaner fleet, or the sil silver level on that. Thanks to Tim Schliscott for that. I don't think he's here today. Um, in our town, we have 70, re 70 Teslas registered. Uh, there are 100 electric cars registered in, in South Lake. And if you include our friends in the adjacent cities of Northeast Tarrant County, that's 160 electric cars and out of 248. And now um, I'd like to invite Mayor Hill, Councilmember Archer, Ms. Yelberton, if you'd like, to come and say a word. But before I hand the microphone over to them, why don't we let them know exactly how excited we are to have a supercharger in South Africa? Thank you. Thank you. Well, good morning, and uh, congratulations for being a Tesla owner in the first place. And number two, congratulations for this incredible facility. I know a lot of people have fought really hard to get this here in South Lake, and I want to give a special, a special congratulations to Rick. He is a big man in town in South Lake. He is Mr. Tesla, and this would not have happened without him. So thank you so much, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not getting paid. <laughs> so, but uh, I'm here today with my uh, fellow council member, Chris Archer, but on behalf of our entire city council, we are so excited that you guys chose our city to have this. Um, as Rick mentioned, my city manager, Shawnee Yelverton, is here today, and also Daniel Cortez from the city manager's office, and it really was a group effort. Um, this was important to us for a lot of reasons. Number one, you guys are cool, and we want you shopping and stopping in town square so that's one way to get you here um, num number two we want exciting things happening in South Lake. We want to continue to be on the map. We're constantly looking for new and exciting things to bring them here to our city to keep our city fresh and new. And there's really nothing more exciting than owning and driving a Tesla. So congratulations to all of you. Um, I hope to see your cars here. I told Rick the other night, um, I want to say it was Wednesday after work, I drove into Town Square uh, this way and realized I had three Teslas following me in so that they could supercharge and you know it was just it was kind of surreal my husband and I were talking about it last night and now this puts Town Square on the map as a destination for all of you and for all Tesla owners wherever they're traveling east and west between 1709 and 114 to huge huge roads that I hope will make people stop and plan their trip so that they have some time my only request my only request is don't just stop and charge and grab a hamburger at Five Guys. Stop and charge, spend the night, take your wife shopping, husbands, come on, and uh, spend a lot of money in Town Square. We love having you here. We love what you're going to do for our community, and we welcome you back many, many times. Thank you all very much. Thank you so much. I also have uh, Bailey Muller, an air quality planner with North Central Texas Council of Governments, um, here with us today. And before, um, before I ask her to come say a few words, I want to kind of take a little poll of why people own an electric car. You can raise your hands or clap and cheer or whatever uh, as I call out some things which came to my mind as I was... Um, putting this on my index cards earlier this morning. Um, I have uh, never go to gas stations, especially on the gas prices of Wednesday that we had last year. Have powered by 100% Texas fuels. Those of us who like to minimize our imported oil think that's exciting. Yeah. Um, some of us like to drive cars that use 0 to 60 in 2.28 seconds. Should I say family cars that see 5 plus 2? 
<laughs> they didn't get the memo. What the heck? <laughs> Somebody get that plane. <laughs> so it was just like a car that's fun to drive. But <laughs> one that I think we can all agree on is that we like clean air in North Texas. And Texas is in a uh, EPA ozone non-attainment area. So for a lot of the year, we have air which is unhealthy to breathe. And our partners at North Central Texas Council of Governments do a lot of work to help us have clean air here in Texas. And with that, I'd like to introduce Bailey Moore. First of all, I want to thank you guys all for being such passionate and engaged stakeholders and really helping us try to improve the air quality in North Texas. Um, as Rick said, we are non-attainment, which means that we fail the ozone standard set by the EPA. Um, most of that, the majority of ozone, is produced by mobile sources. And so owning Teslas, owning EVs are one of the best things you could possibly do to help um, improve the air quality within our region. Um, we also, in the Council of Governments, house the Dallas Fort Worth Clean Cities Coalition, which is an EPA, uh, not an EPA, I'm sorry, a Department of Energy program set by um, standards to reduce petroleum. And so, um, once again, Teslas are great right in that you produce. No, um, petroleum not. And so, in order to really, really promote and get you guys together, um, there's not many events that you guys can all come together for. So, beyond just Tesla owners, we have a National Drive Electric Week that we promote um, every year. It's in September. And so, I know it's a little far off, but we want to get it on people's calendars so we can make sure you're there. Um, September 8th at Grapevine Mills Mall, we have as many EVs come as possible. Last year we had almost 150 there. And so we are the largest event outside of California. And so this year we really, really want to get on the map, get Texas up there and beat California. And so we have these little handouts. If you guys want to take one, we would love it. Um, pass them out or visit our website. You could register starting today. And we would love to have you guys there. If you have any questions, you can let me know. And I'm happy to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, you know, we also like to do little ribbon cuttings to celebrate the opening of superchargers. So if our guests from the city of South Lake and Bailey, if you come up, why don't we cut a ribbon and celebrate the opening of our new supercharger? I see you've got all your hands full, so this will be tough. That's right, the, the, the funk is clean. So here, get, get in the center here. Right. We've got scissors somewhere. There they are. You can cut it. Oh. All right. I think we should like do one, two, three, clean air. Okay. <laughs> All right. One, two, two three, three, clean air. Thank you very much.